Hey, good afternoon, church. Good afternoon, church. Listen, this is a moment for us to stand together, and I'm so glad that you're answering that call. What we're going to do today is we are going to stand as the church and decry racism and call for change here in our city and our state as well as in our nation. I believe that the church should lead on this most important topic because we have the right to theology. We have the right to right doctrine, to call for everyone to be dignified and to be treated in such a way. And so thank you for answering this call. What we're going to do right now is we're going to have a moment of worship. Uh, Brother Nathan, come on up here, man, if you'll come and lead us. What I'd like for us to do is just sing out. Let's worship God and invite his presence here right now. And then we're going to hear from city leaders. We're going to make a statement on righteousness and justice. And then we're going to give you guys some calls to action. Calls to action. You guys ready for that? All right. Amen. Nathan, if you'll lead us to the throne. You guys can just sing with me. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And oh, precious is that flow that makes me white as snow. No other fault I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, what can wash away my sin? Everybody say, nothing but the blood of Jesus. And what can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And oh, precious is that flow that makes me white as snow. No other fault I know, nothing but the blood of Come on, let's make it big. Oh, precious is the flow that makes me, that makes me white as snow. No other fault I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. It was nothing but say nothing but the blood of Jesus. It is nothing but nothing but the blood of Jesus.
We need you now, Lord. We need you to come and meet us, God. We need you to come and meet us right here in Atlanta. We need you to come and meet us right here in Georgia. We need you to meet us here in America, God. That racism would end. That black lives would stop ending. That you would come and reform your church. Reform America. Reform our justice system. We say that your kingdom is right and your reign is supreme. And we say, come Lord, come and reign over Atlanta. Come and reign over Georgia. Come and reign over America. God, we ask for the historic sin of racism to be uprooted in Jesus' name. Yes. Uproot racism in Jesus' yes. name. God, as we cried out in our route to Stone Mountain, we ask that you would break the back of racism yeah. in Jesus' name. Break the back of racism in America in Jesus' name. Break the back of racism in Jesus' name. May power come. May power come. Oh, Lord, we want to see the day where one race is no longer needed because the church has stepped into the void. God, raise up your bride to speak with clarity and authority on this topic. Raise up your bride, Lord! Raise up your bride, Lord! Raise up your bride, Lord! I ask that the church would be the body, that we would be the body of Christ, that when one member suffers, the whole body suffers along with it. Make us that kind of a bride. No longer will the black community grieve alone because the church is rising up. The white community is coming to comfort. The Asian community is coming to comfort. The Hispanic community is coming to comfort. God, raise up your bride. That we would no longer see ourselves as individuals, but we would see ourselves as members of your body. Do it in this time, Lord. Grant justice to us now in Jesus' name. We ask that the church would rise in strength, rise in clarity, and begin to lead the way. May we speak with a prophetic voice. May we have a prophetic conscience. May we speak with us, said the Lord, in this moment. God, we need you. We need you in the church. Come and visit the church of Atlanta. Come and visit the church of Georgia. Come and visit the church of America, we pray in Jesus' name. And all of God's people shouted, Amen. So make sure that's clean now, come on. Hey, I want you to open your eyes for a minute. We've been praying with our eyes closed, but keep your eyes open because there was a time. Now I'm wearing my military gear today because I heard there's an army here. Yeah. I heard that we're forming an army, a spiritual army, but we don't wage we don't wage war with flesh and blood, with militant, like we see the militant out there. That's not us. Yes. We're a holy army, a holy nation. God is raising up, right? Yes. For this day, yes. for this time. Well, in 2 Kings, man, um, Elisha, Elisha was getting ready to be attacked by this huge army of chariots and horses. You remember this story? Yes. And then the servant went to the front door and said, oh my God, come by, somebody help us. And he ran into the prophet and he said, prophet, you're going to believe this, but there's an army out there like I've never seen. And you know what the prophet told him? The prophet told him four words, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Say it. Do not be afraid. Say it. Do not be afraid. And today, we don't wage war like they do. We do it on our knees. But then he said this. The prophet said, oh God, would you open the eyes of my servant so he can see that we have more among us than they got with them. So I want you to do this. I want you to look up into the sky. I want you to open your eyes and I want you to pray the prayer of the prophet and say, God, open my eyes that I may see what you see, your eternity, your kingdom, your power, your glory, your angel army watching over this city, watching over me, watching over my brother and my sister. In the name 
of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, 